Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you like DeX on Samsung devices or if you like the EMUI desktop on Huawei devices and Honor devices, you're definitely going to be enjoying this new accessory that I'm going to share with you guys today. It's called the Next Doc Touch. This is a follow up to another video that I did for you guys not that long ago. But the main benefit here is that we now have a better display and touch interface to both DeX and EMUI 11, well EMUI desktop. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here we have the Next Doc Touch. This is technically a shell of a laptop. It looks like a laptop. Uh, by the way, this accessory is something that I purchased directly off of Amazon to be able to mount my device on the side and I'll share with you guys how that works. And essentially what that means is if you open it up, it's actually gonna look and pretty much almost feel like a laptop when you're holding it in your hands. Uh, we have obviously a full size keyboard. We have a nice bigger touchpad as well as touchpad, you know, Next Doc, the name here. Uh, functional buttons here for not only the ability of seeing the battery level on the actual case, we have a 60 watt hour battery built in here. We now have quad speakers on the bottom as well as rubber offset footings. On the left side, we have a full size HDMI in, a power to be able to charge the actual battery built in here, an extension as far as another USB-C, and this will be the connection to our smartphone to be able to use either EMUI or basically DeX uh, desktop experience on this laptop. And again, it will work with any smartphone that supports uh, screen mirroring as well over HDMI or uh, USB to HDMI. Now on the right side, it gets a little bit interesting. We have a full-size USB type A port. We have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack that will route audio directly from our phone, as well as an actual ability of using an SD card. So we actually have the ability of inserting and using SD card memory expansion, even if your device does not support it. Whenever it's actually docked directly into the next dock, it will be supported. And of course, all of this is gonna be supported with the touch display that we have here. It's a nice big display. It's a 14 inch display IPS panel. And again, as I mentioned, there is no basically processing power. There's no internal uh, GPU, CPU, anything. There's basically a keyboard, a mouse, and of course the display with touch capabilities to enable us to interact with all of our systems. So I've been using the next dock touch for the, over a month now, and I wanna share with you guys my experience after testing it out with different devices. And what I mean by that is, I mean, I tested it out with basically the Microsoft Surface Duo. I also used uh, obviously, you know, the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, which runs uh, DeX. Um, the other thing I also ran is I tried testing it out with devices that I wasn't sure would work with it. So the Find X2 Pro, and of course we knew that obviously the Mate 40 Pro will work. And of course I tested it out with the OnePlus 8T to be able to see how the screen mirroring works on that device. Since I have One UI 3.0 beta running on my Galaxy S20 Ultra, I also wanted to test it out on the Next Dock Touch. Connecting the Surface Duo to the Next Dock Touch is pretty simple. You're getting a screen mirroring experience. We get the full desktop that we get on our Surface Duo without the seam in the middle. And of course we're still able to open up double, you know, dual apps, interact with different applications. We're able to open things up in full screen. All of those things will work fine. Touch sensitivity seemed to be isolated in certain spots of the display on the next dot touch. It didn't give me full access to touch, but I was able to interact with both sides of the display. Definitely an experience where it gives you a bigger display, keyboard and mouse support, and of course, expandable ports since we now have access to the USB type A, the micro SD card, all of those things route correctly, as well as the actual headphone jack that you can use. Connecting the Mate 40 Pro was also pretty simple. You connect it, it automatically launches EMUI desktop, and of course leaves the actual experience on the smartphone the same. So you're able to open up an application, run split screen on your smartphone and of course run multiple applications on EMUI desktop. The only difference obviously is the limitation of applications that's available there uh, and depending on the version of the EMUI desktop that you're using. On my Mate 40 Pro for some reason some of my downloaded applications did not show up but that's nothing to do with the next stock touch that's more so to do with the EMUI 11 installation that I have but it still works really nice. Switching it over to the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and I felt like this is where it kind of started to look really nice because we're getting the full system here obviously the Z Fold 2 is already a big display Display when you open it up and of course connecting it to the next dock gives us access to the full experience of DeX and of course just even more multitasking capabilities so for me a keyboard mouse expandable storage headphone jack all of those things were really really nice and of course it works seamlessly since DeX automatically launches or you're even able to do screen mirroring when I connected the OnePlus 8T I didn't really get the full touch functionality to work or even the keyboard and mouse for the most part it worked as a screen mirroring I was able to get a bigger display watch movies on it that part worked perfectly fine so for me, I think that's pretty much the experience that we're looking in here for the OnePlus 8T. Uh, running the forced desktop experience still is in early stages, so I would not recommend it, but overall it worked out pretty good just for screen mirroring on the AT. Connecting the One UI 3.0 DeX experience on my S20 Ultra was pretty seamless. It worked pretty much the same as we've seen it in the past. Gesture support, headphone jack, expandable storage, all of the things that you normally expect work perfectly fine. 
This next dock touch is really meant for EMUI desktop and DeX. All the other systems that we're testing out here, obviously, is to see what are the functionalities that we can get, especially since now we have touch on it. But again, works perfectly on the S20 Ultra. So one of the really cool things I was able to test out was the Access 4 fanless PC by connecting it to the HDMI input option and one of the USB-C options on the side. I was able to actually control it and run a full version of Windows on this PC with touch support. And of course, access to the SD card, the headphone jack, all of the functional things, all along running on the actual next stock touch. So really the capabilities and the possibilities of using things with this stock is absolutely amazing. Looks great, functions great. And again, I can upgrade the PC later on and the experience gets upgraded every single time. To using it for a month, I have to say that the next stock touch provides that one experience that no accessory can provide other than what this is. Uh, it's really just a shell, essentially a battery, keyboard, mouse, and a display that supports touch. And the beautiful thing about this is that it actually charges your device as you're connected to it. You're not actually draining the battery on your, on your device, be it your tablet, your phone. And I did say tablet because I did actually test it out with my Tab S7 Plus. And of course, this actually runs DeX on its own directly on it. But if you connect an external display to it, it now runs as if you're running two separate PCs. And what I really like about it is the 14 inch display that's running on the next dock touch that runs DeX, I'm still able to run multiple applications on the Tab S7 Plus, which already runs a big display, which is like a 12 inch display. So dual display functionality on the go with the next dock touch, of course, and the Tab S7 Plus. So uh, would I recommend this to anybody? Absolutely. If you have a Samsung device and Huawei and Honor device, or even a Samsung Tab, basically the S7 uh, Tab, and you want to be able to augment that experience on the go, this will work perfectly fine. Uh, your 5G connectivity, your internet connection will, from the phone or from the device connected, transfers over, nothing gets disconnected. There's nothing to worry about the actual next dock from the sense of what it's going to connect or disconnect. Nothing runs on it. So the moment you upgrade your phone, you get a new phone uh, you know, next year and you connect it to the next dock touch. Now your next dock touch just got upgraded to the same version because the horsepower and everything that needs to be done on it is done on the device. So. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this? And of course, are you as excited as I am with the next stock touch? Because the first generation was amazing. Adding touch to it just took it to the next level. I'll see you guys in the next video.